Hey, so this is a really quick request for Charlie Birch from Third Eye Web Strategies and she asked for this in the Squarespace Designers group. So Charlie, what you asked for was a way to link a background image to a section color theme. So you can see I've got a pretty ugly just default page here. Um, and I'm just going to talk you through what I would do for this. So let's start here. So this first section is, I think it's just dark. It is, um, ah, okay. It's set to the black theme. So first things first, just target that with the dot black class. Um, and literally all we want to do is just change the section background, right? So if I could spell, we can go to the section background and it needs a background image. It doesn't have one currently. So rather than importing it every time, we can just go into our custom files here. And I went onto a lovely little generator. So I'm going to do one pattern. I'm going to do two patterns and I'm going to do a third. And there they are. So one, two, three. And I know that's a mess, but I am going to separate them up, I promise you. So let's get this first pattern here. I'm actually just going to set it as a variable for simplicity for me. So I'm just going to call it pattern one. And I'm going to do URL and I'm going to put pattern one. And then I am going to copy that. Don't worry, this will make sense in a second. Two more times to do pattern two and pattern three i am going to copy this next pattern so just the https to the next https in there and then i am going to put my next pattern as pattern three and don't forget the little squirrely bit squirrely line and the um inverted commas sorry and the url open brackets so there's my those are my three so now what i need to do is do background image um, at pattern one and that didn't work and the reason why is because um <clears throat> the way squarespace sets the background image is it sets it in line so literally all you need to do is throw in an important tag boom there's my pattern. And then what I can do, so this section here is, I think it's a light section. Let's have a check. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a white section. So all I could do is I could copy that and I could instead do white. Uh, let's make that pattern two. And the great thing with these variables is it means that it's far more convenient than looking at a nice long URL. I've got a section here and it's dark, so let's set that to pattern three. There you go, three patterns. Let's test this out though. So I've saved it. I'm gonna go into my editor and I'm gonna add a templated, let's just do something nice and easy. Let's do a contact us section. Let's go to, so lightest one would be white. And then I've still got lightest two if I still don't want it. I think I did dark, dark two, boom. Super easy, super easy to customize or tailor to however you want it. And one note I would probably make just to give you a little bit more freedom is perhaps instead of targeting the, um, the regular version of the section, I would probably actually target the bold because I don't know, just I never use the bold sections myself when I'm building stuff unless it's for sort of an alternate version of a section. There you go. So I'd always recommend just creating variables because this you can just dump this somewhere at the start of your custom CSS and then it makes it easier to see which pattern that you're using later on. And it's as simple as that. Target the section by the um, by the class name for the, the color class name, then target the section background element and change the background image. Remember the important tag and you are good to go.
I really hope that helps. And yeah, drop me a comment or any questions in the description, I will post the CSS down there.